Hi, I'm Bill Harrigan, former NRL referee from back in Australia, and I'm going through my 1 to 13 best players that I've ever refereed. Starting off in fullback, number one, I'm going to give it to Darren Lockyer when he was a fullback before he moved to 5'8 because I've got someone special that has to take the 5'8 position. But Darren Lockyer, sensational player. I don't think any more needs to be said about how good he is, whether he plays fullback or 5'8. On the wings, Eric Groth played for Parramatta. I called him the train wreck because when he ran through players, he just left them in his wake and it looked like a train wreck as he raced off to the field. And when you got up close next to him, you were just thinking when you could hear the crunch of the bodies when they try to tackle him, geez, I'm glad I'm not getting run over by that bloke. On the other wing, just because I'm over here in England and you want a little bit of an English flavour, I'm putting the speech to Martin O'Fire on the other wing just because of his sheer speed, uh, ego and just a mug lair when he scores a try and leaves everybody else behind him. Into the centres, Mal Meninga, Man Mountain. The size of the guy's thighs and when he was running down the field and you could see the panic on the defensive players as they were seeing him run towards him and they would say, please don't run near me, go the other way and he just changed direction and crunched them. The centre pairing with Mal Meninga, as far as statue goes, it's David and Goliath, but it was Steve Eller, the zip zip man. Just brilliant with the ball, um, could do things, could change on the you know, sidestep on a dime, change direction. And when you put Meninga and Steve Eller together in the centres, that's just an unbeatable combination. Go to 5'8", where Darren Lockyer finished off his career, but they've left that one for the king, Wally Lewis. Don't need to say too much about the King, except he was always three steps in front of any other player on the field. He would be doing moves three steps ahead, and you'd be thinking, what's he doing? And then three plays later, that move would come to fruition. So the King, Wally Lewis, is my 5'8", and right beside him is his little mate, Alfie Langer. What a brilliant little halfback. And I think he's probably remembered mostly for his 2001 State of Origin return after he'd retired and was over here in England, and the great Wayne Bennett brought him back and he was the difference in that game and he won the series for Queensland. So in the halfback role, Alfie Langer. Now we move on to the scrum, we go to the prop forwards. My old mate Gordy Tallis is my first prop forward. We've had a running battle right throughout our uh, time of playing and refereeing, but he was still one of the toughest men that I've ever seen on the footy field. And my hooker, one of the, uh, the triplets, like I call them, the Walters brothers. Steve Walters was my hooker. You had some great hookers back then. You had some tough hookers like Benny Elias and Mario Fennick and other guys that would whack into each other. But for me, it was Steve Walters as my hooker. Again, because I'm over here in England, I'm going to stick with a bit of an English flavour and give the other prop forward to Lee Crooks. When I refereed him, I could never understand a word he said because it was always, but tough man, and I got on well with him on the footy field. Matter of fact, he was playing in my very first game way back in 1986 when he was the captain of the Western Suburbs Magpies. Good on you, Lee. Second rowers. Can't go past the old Steve Menzies as one of them. And in the second one would be Dave Gillespie. Two hard men, hard hitting, and two blokes that you want backing you up. Defensive players, haven't gone with a ball running player, but gone with the defensive players because I just enjoyed watching them up close and personal. And to finish it off in the lock forward position, I've got two blokes. Ellery Hanley, the Black Pearl, was brilliant, refereed him here when he was playing with Leeds. A memorable game, I gave him a uh, penalty try, oh, no, sorry, an eight point try when they were playing Featherston way back in 1994. The fans in Featherston don't really like me too much, so I don't venture over that way anymore because they were relegated that year and they put it down to that try that game. I think they got beat by the two points. And the other guy is Bradley Clyde. Probably well known over here from 1994, actually getting bashed by Sean Edwards in the uh, test match, but Bradley Clyde, another great player. And that's my best one to 13, but you can't have a one to 13 game without a referee. And the best referee of all time, hello. <laughs>